Welcome. On request of a lot of students, we are bringing in the solutions for AP set that was held on uh, the 1st of July 2018. Now, this is a very interesting paper because it would be also useful for your preparation for net examination, paper 1. So, let's discuss the first 25 questions in the first go and we'll be covering the second 25 questions in the later round. Now, the first question talks about the most suitable type of research that helps to gain experience in formulating relevant hypothesis for a more definite investigation is. Now this is a kind of direct definition to explain the exploratory research. So that's what actually exploratory research is. So exploratory research is the correct answer for this question. The next question talks about which of the following does not support the practice of ethics in research. Now make sure the question says not. So we have to understand this question clearly. All of those explain the ethics and research except C, it's basically the non-disclosure of data subsets that would be the correct answer here. So C would be the, uh, uh, the choice that does not explain the practice of ethics. The next is, in a thesis or a research report, the objectives of the study, the nature of the problem, methods and techniques, all of those are explained in the introduction. So introduction becomes the correct answer. Preface is basically uh, you try to uh, credit someone, so all those uh, persons who have contributed uh, for your literary help or the literary work would be there and would be given the, uh, the notion there. So that would be the preface. Summary is basically a kind of quick summary summarization but it does not include the exact objectives and the methodology employed and appendix is towards the end so you have B as the correct op uh, option that's the introduction the next question talks about again a very uh, kind of uh, controversial question which of the following is not a part of the layout of research report now first of all which is not a part so none of these basically out of these I could say preface or forward is basically not uh, usually not a part of a research report you can have a research report totally without a preface or a forward so forward is basically someone else uh, explaining about you and your work so that's what is forward so you have B as the choice here. Acknowledgement table of content and questionnaires in part in basically appendix are usually seen in the research report. However, it's a kind of uh, tricky question that was there. The next is again a very interesting question. You need to understand the difference between article, research paper, project and thesis. So thesis and research paper is basically something a kind of innovative idea or a new idea that you are reporting a new knowledge. However, a write up based on the study of a data pertaining to a problem or a issue would be a project report. So project report would be the correct answer because you are not uh, working around something new here. You are using the existing findings and the existing data here. The next is UGC was established based on the recommendations of Radha Krishnan Commission. So Radha Krishnan Commission basically was the founding stone for the establishment of University Grants Commission in India. And now that you have UGC scrapped out, you have Higher Education Commission of India that's proposed. Uh, we have a separate lecture on that and that's important. The next is the main principle on which the parliamentary system operates is. Now parliament we would say comprises of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. So it's basically the legislature that you are trying to do, uh, trying to explain, but you are trying to explain the responsibility of the executive to the legislature. So you do not have anything to do with the judiciary. So the correct answer here would be A. So A would be the correct answer. Uh, this is again a question that has been previously asked in many exams. So the next is very important question, even for your upcoming net, autonomy in education implies. So uh, autonomy in higher education, this was a question based on the recent autonomy that has been granted to 62 universities. This autonomy basically the choices are pretty confusing here so make sure you understand this properly. Autonomy basically talks about in terms of curriculum formation, the course decide, the course that should be decided, uh, the computing labs that should be there and the overall framework of the university. So it basically is more related to policy making. So policy making from the given choices would be the most apt choice. Okay, it's nothing to directly relate to the financial matters or only curriculum or only administration. So it's basically a kind of broad framework of the policies that the universities have autonomy for. So you have D as the correct answer here. Now again a very simple question which is not considered as a part of technical education. So medical, pharma and aeronautics are uh, basically technical 
subject so management is the only choice that's non technical again among the given state which has the largest number of seats in lok sabha uttar pradesh has technically the largest number of seats that's around 80 but since uttar pradesh is not in the choice the next is maharashtra led by west bengal and andhra pradesh so maharashtra would be the correct choice here The next question: Data can be saved on backing storage. Now, what is backing storage? Backing storage is a non-volatile storage that could be seen, or where you have the data in the form of uh, removable hard disk, which could be basically uh, the data remains even if the computer system is powered off. So, let's say CD. DVD, uh, hard disk, so all those would be examples of it. So here we have CD writable. So from the choices, the correct full form or the correct acronym for CD writable would be compact disk rewritable. So you have A as the correct answer here. LAN stands for local area network. A very simple question and a very direct question from programming, uh, computing, basically networking. So you have a local area network that's within the region. The next is one million, uh, sorry, one billion memory. So ten raised to power. Nine is something that we need to understand. So that's gigabyte. You would have ten raised to six at me megabyte, and ten raised to six is gigabyte. So gigabyte would be the correct answer here. The next is in India, Facebook can be accessed in. So Facebook in India can be accessed in twelve languages. The list of languages we have provided here. So you have Marathi, Hindi, Assamese, Bengali, Punjabi, Gujarati, Odia, Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, and Urdu. So even if you go onto the home page of uh, um, uh, Facebook, you would see the options for the various languages you can just go on to the languages and search out the languages so as simple as that the next is the correct connecting error in a program is called as so correcting error basically uh, talks about checking anything that is faulty in the system so you have debugging as the correct answer so you basically debug you correct the error in the programming and work around it now this passage is a kind of simple passage that talks about the export and the importance of export so once you have higher export you would have more production that would be uh, there and more basically more extra income that could be generated so very simple passage very direct questions from the passage so how do many industries attain the cost saving on the manufacturing so that's by manufacturing larger volumes of the production so b becomes the correct answer here the next is why export industries in particular must be efficient so exports industries must be able to withstand the competition from other countries that's again directly mentioned in the passage the next is a developing country should import only these types of products which can be locally manufactured and but at a higher cost so we basically and uh, tend to uh, push up the local industries and that's how uh, a developing countries should import only locally manufactured goods so that's the correct option here the next question talks about which one of Uh, the following is one of the great advantages of manufacturing for export so it helps to establish industries with larger production capacity and that's the correct answer so better uh, the Uh, the base, the production capacity, better would be the export market. The next is what kind of products are commonly sold in the world uh, market in large quantities. So all those products which are available at lower cost or cheaper cost would be the correct answer. And again, this is directly mentioned into the passage. So these were kind of very direct questions from the passage. Next, coming on to uh, the data interpretation question. Now you have the first question that talks about a pi, uh, pi graph and the second about a bar graph. So on this pi graph, you have three questions. The first question says if the marked price of the book is one eighty and it is twenty percent above the cost price, so let the cost price be x. Twenty percent above cost price would be x plus twenty uh, percent of x plus x. Which be equal to 180. So I calculate x here, which is equal to 180 by uh, 120 into 100, and that would be 150. Now I have the value for the x. What I need to find is the cost of the paper for a single copy. So the paper cost is 15 percent. So 15 percent of this 150 would be 22.5. So the cost of the paper for a single copy would be 22.5. The next question says. royalty paid to the book is less than the printing cost by so the printing cost is 20% royalty is 15% so it would be 20 minus 15 divided by the royalty uh, by the printing cost that's 20 into 100 that is 4 by 20 Uh, sorry, five by twenty into hundred. That is one fourth of hundred. That's twenty five percent. So, 
you would have the royalty cost which would be 25% less as compared to printing cost. So that's again, again a kind of direct question. The next question says for a book, now this question has nothing to do with the bar graph, uh, for, sorry, the pie graph that's given. For a book of 180 pages, if the cost is 45 rupees, what is the cost per page? Now for 180 pages, the cost is 45 rupees. So simple unitary method that we apply. So for one page, the cost would be 45 divided by 180. And that's basically the cost per page. So 45, 45, it's 90, 90, double of 90, it's uh, 180. So it's basically one fourth. So I can say it's one fourth or 0 0.25. So 0 0.25 would be the correct answer. The next question is on bar graph. Now again, this is a kind of interesting question. You have company A and company B and the various values given for each of the company. Now let's talk about the questions first. Uh, the question says, this question is a kind of interesting question. If the number of articles sold by company B in 2015 is 78% more than the difference of the article sold by A and B in 2014. So let me calculate the difference of the articles sold between A and B in 2014. So that's 159 minus 148. So 159 minus 148, that's 11. Now 78% of it is the number of articles that is sold more. So 78% of this plus 11, that's the base. So when I calculate it, it comes to 19 point something. Um, it, I, it comes to 19.85. Now this is the, uh, that's the amount or that's the sold articles for the company B in 2015. Now what I need to understand is the up approximate increase or decrease in the articles sold by company B in 2015 from the previous year. So in the previous year, how much company B sold was 148. So my values would be 148 minus 19.985 divided by 19.85 into 100. So that's the value that I calculate and that's the decrease because this value has decreased over the time. So initially it was 148 and the production is very very less. So it's only 20 as of what we can say. So that would be the value and we will calculate it and it would come out to be approximately 86. So the correct answer here would be 87% decrease that could be registered. The next question is a very tricky question and you make sure that you don't make silly mistakes in questions like this. You have number of articles sold by company A in the year 2009, 11 and 13. And then you have to find out what percentage it is more than the average of the number of articles sold in 2013, 14 and uh, 12, 13 and 14. So here we have to find out the average. Here we have to find out the total values. So let me uh, just go here. So the total value for 2009, 11 and 13 for company A would be 119 plus 141 plus you have 70, uh, sorry, uh, 120. So that would be the values for company A. For company B for 2012, 13 and 14, the values would be 128 plus 107 plus 148 and the average of these. So I'll just add those and divide it by three. Now let me see what the values come up to be. So I've calculated here and the values here was 380 and this was 127.66. Now what is asked? Go back to the question and see what is asked. What percentage more than the average number of articles? So it would be 380. That's the total number of articles by company A in these three years minus the average number of articles by company B in these three years. That's 127.66 divided by 127.66 into 100 and when I solve it, it comes to be 198. So 198 would be the correct answer. So with this, we cover the first 25 questions for the AP set exam for 2018. We'll be coming up with the next set of 28, uh, 25 questions in the upcoming class. So stay tuned. As I said, the DI questions and the questions on research were really good. So make sure you have a good practice on that and that would be helpful and beneficial for your net exam as well. Stay tuned for further many updates. Have a great day.